Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Today, in this quick little video, I'm gonna just go over my guild's parses from last night. Just cause it's fun. Just cause it was a solid raid. I was solo healing it for the majority. We swipped, swapped, swip swapped to solo healing after the second boss of Nomergon. And it was the last, like, technically phase two log of the uh, lockout. So I'm gonna pull up those stats right about now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, we had a great time. It was a pretty fun raid. It was pretty focused as well, which is good. You always want to have uh, people locked in and ready to play. I think that that should be a good size for me here, like that. But uh, yeah, if you see here, it was pretty okay. You know, not bad. There's the guild season of OG, if I can uh, put myself here. Yeah, see season of OG. Uh, we're on Crusader Strike US. Um... But if you look at Grubbis, minute kill time, not great, not terrible. You know, should be killing Grubbis around there anyways. So just a normal Grubbis fight, nothing special there really. Our druids were popping off, 438 DPS from Playgirl. She played super well last night, and uh, Teehee always does really well. And then this was when we were double healing still, and we had the Shadow Priest, so just lots of healing there. Not really any like super parses or anything on Grubbis. Uh, but then we go to Vicious or Viscous Fallout. And we wiped the first time. People did not fight the ads. Nobody was sh killing ads. He spawns little goo boys. We didn't kill them. Then they killed us. But this is when we successfully did the fight. Pretty smooth. 15.9k healing. And then Earl here with 6.6. .6. And the Shadow Priest did a decent amount as well. And then we switched. This is when we were like genuine solo healing. Uh, and it was just awesome. We started parsing more, doing a lot more damage. Earl with 468 DPS. Tee and Playgirl popping off. The Shadow Priest was busting down. And I'm Lobaka here, if you give a shit. But basically, circle of healing, prayer mending. Easy dub, and there's nothing really uh, to worry about there. But uh, it was pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Uh, when I started to notice, so let's go to Electrocutioner. This was a fight that uh, we kind of struggled on a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the the healer, the Shadow Priest guy, he died like super early. Didn't get to do much in the fight, died to the mechanic. Um, and then Orc Shock, that's our tank. Benito, also kind of tanking. Uh, we had like tank, main tank, off tank, which personally I don't like to run main tank, off tank. Just one main tank, shaman tank, and that's what Orc Shock is. So we sh could have been able to do it. He just isn't like super geared, so people were hesitant. Uh, look at that though. 50.7 thousand healing. I was busting it down. 344 healing per second. He, he was carrying. I think he took his helmet off here as well. Um, but like if you look at his, his damage done here. Let's look at the uh, done by ability. Yeah, Starfire. Yeah, you're 17. 17 cast Starfire, 21 at Star Surge, and he's just constant like damage. There's only a little bit of downtime, right? Like one, two seconds of downtime, two seconds of downtime, and he's back in. So pretty good parsing all around from the gang. Um, I set new records as well for myself because obviously I was solo healing, so I could actually parse. It was super fun. Um, Earl, Playgirl, the healer, and Tihi Sai got like, you know, decent damage on Menagerie here. Three minute Menagerie fight kill time, which isn't terrible. Uh, what is it on the. If I look at rankings here. Yeah, so green parse for uh, execution ranking and gray for speed. So not great. Not great. But we're not trying to like speed run the raid. So it wasn't terrible either. Uh, and then if we look at Thermoplug, Thermoplug was a pretty slow fight. Six and a half minutes. I had to do so much healing. Uh, not good. Not good at all. So that's damage. But if you look at healing here, yeah, see 94%. Big purple parse. I was trying to parse super hard. Um, parsing purple for any of us at the end of the phase is huge because there's already been like established parse percentages. So if you parse really high early on, like T he was telling me it's it's 
super easy to get high parses for like the first two or three lockouts because nobody's really like gotten it locked down yet. Um, so parsing high at the very last lockout is kind of hype, bro, to be honest. But Thermaplug was really fun. Um, let's just go to Analyze here. So look at that. Our Shadow Priest with 32.9 healing. And then I had 97.5k. Just Boston, dude. But uh, pretty good damage from the homies as well. Like two players above 100k. So you want to see you want to see lots of damage coming in. Uh, Grow Coco, I think he's a marksman. So, yeah, not, not super great. Uh, his pet did literally like all his damage. It's crazy, bro. Multi shot. He casts it 19 times. 30 serpent stings. Is he not using, like. Oh my gosh, he's using kill command. No way. Cass. <sighs> See, this is why I wanted to do this. No shade, but like this, you could be doing so much more. So much more. Because kill command sucks. Sucks, man. Hunter's Mark. Why is he concussive shotting anything? This is just a waste of mana here. Um, use the fap and use rapid fire once. Which is good. But. 80% uptime on Serpent Sting on Thermoplug, it should be like 100%. It's because he should be using uh, Chimera Strike, and that's it. Like, he should just have Arcane Shot, Auto Shot, Serpent Sting, Multi Shot. Pretty much it. I think he's Beast Master Respect too, right? Yeah, he has Beast Your Wrath there. Cast it four times. <sighs> that's tough to look at, bro. Could have done a lot more DPS there. Uh, that's the phase, so he phased, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to look at uh, pets. Yeah. Uh, damage taken. Oh, it's a lot. It's all right. But that's, that's a good example. Like, definitely you should be having some different... Um, Different runes on there. Kill command's horrible. In my opinion, anyways. Like, I play a lot of hunters, so... Let's take a look. Um, image done. So, see, we had purple parse, and then green, 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 green. All across the board. So, really, Playgirl, like, carried that fight. Um, T, he was, like, a bomb duty guy. Tried to do some damage when he could. Shadow is bombs as well. And then orcs are tanks. So, orcs should be a lot higher. Because your shaman tanks are parsing, bro. Like, let's see. I'm going to compare. Select a player. Oh, I can't compare. Yeah, I can't compare through. But I can compare by going back here. Back to just bang. No, we're gone. Let's see. Speed. I'm just going to click rats. Can I get into there? There we go. Tanks. Let's see Juggalug. Let's see what he does, bro. Yeah, see. Look at this. Look at him. 810 DPS on Viscous. He's got 97 parts on Thermaplug. Insanity. He also has the Arcano Shredder and, like, really good gear. He's like, bis, bis. But he is, like, trying hard. But, uh... Yeah, that that is how you shaman tank. Let's see what he's doing on Thermoplug. Let's see what you have to do to do damage. So, did they raid yesterday? No. Where's the most recent? Like March 30th, eh? Yeah, he's still, he purple parse there. Let's look at the March 14th one with the orange parse. Can I click this open here? Nice. Dude, look at their group. See, this is a speed group right here. Everybody's doing damage. The tank is pumping. Jug a log. Okay, so he did melee auto attack. Lava Lash. Storm Strike. Dismantle. Chain Lightning. Earth Shock. Okay. So 150 casts of just auto attack. 23 of Lava Lash. 27 of Storm Strike. Now let's go back 
to uh, let's type in season of OG on Crusader Strike US. My guy, and then there's he's not even in here, eh? Why? I guess I'll do this one. I have to click into the logs. Thermoplug, workshop, bro. He's not using half of the abilities that the other shaman is using. So that's that's skill diff right there. Unfortunately, you know, like there's a lot of learning opportunities for people in this guild, I find, which is a good thing. I'm still learning too. I'm not perfect. But uh, I'd say, so if we go to the healing parses, this one, I want to just show off like solo healing is so fun in Nomergon. It is the most fun I've had playing an MMORPG. Uh, so yeah, see 95 orange parse on uh, the menagerie, 71.6k healing, pumping hard. Um, I did not pump on the first two bosses. Like I said, we had double healer then, but look at that. Mm, 81. Nice orange parse on crowd pummeler because nobody usually takes damage, but we were taking a lot of damage. Um, electrocutioner, 95 parse again. Delicious. And then Thermoplug, 94 parse. So close to an orange parse on the last log out, bro. So close. So if you look at... Uh, I can type myself up here now. Um, I've definitely improved a lot. I basically was a level 25 priest when I first started logging. Like, As you see here, I didn't even play this guy when in Phase 1 like at all. Uh, Grubbis, look at this. Gray, 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 green, green, green. But like progressively better because... So when I was with Inch Forward here, I was healing, but I was getting carried. Like we were, we had two healers and like insane pumper DPS. Um, and these two, they, I don't even know, bro. Like the, I must have just been AFK, like just chilling. Like we pumped. I know for in like the middle of March, that was when everybody was trying hard, like trying, trying really hard to parse. Uh, so yeah, that's your uh, Grubbis fight. And then if I go to my Viscous... Like, obviously, so gray, 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 green, green. So that was yesterday, 46 parse. It's not too bad. Um, but I wasn't solo healing. And then Electrocutioner, gray, 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 gray. And then March 29th, purple. Because these two raids were my first raids with, like, Circle of Healing and everything. I was literally a phase one priest. Don't tell anybody. I didn't even have my waste ruin on, bro. The Empowered Renew. I was using nothing. Nothing. And then uh, we'll go to Crowd Pummeler. So see, green, 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 green. Not even healing. Not even healing at all, bro. Just chilling. And then 28 green. 81 purple yesterday. Not bad. It was a fun fight to heal. And then we get to Menagerie. I had a 51 blue on March 29th. But like, see, I'm getting carried here. Like 127 healing per second. And like, just so bad, bro. So bad. Um, but like, yesterday... 95% parse, bro. Big dub. And then Thermoplug. So on Thermoplug, you like, I was like doing my dress, you know. But like if you look back, so let's click onto this run. Can I click into this? Look how, well, look what I'm using to heal, bro. So Brick's Daddy, him and I were like basically tied. But he's overhealing a lot. He's fucking me a lot. His parse was literally fucking so good compared to mine because he was a, a mage healer. He had the purple parse and I'm out here green person. But look at this. Prayer Mending, Penance, Power Word, Shield. Like, I'm casting Shield 20 times, bro. So garbage. Not even a single Greater Heal or anything. And then, so if I go back, and then I click on my 94 parse on Thermoplug. Look at this. Look at the diffs. Look at that. So much better. So much better, bro. Like, I figured out how to play the game. It's great, you know? But, uh, so now I actually have, like, decent parses. Uh, for going into phase three with the sunken temple raid i hope you guys enjoyed just a little bit of like free amble you know just me talking about parsing um checking out just like what i did last night in the raid and looking at some of the other guildies as well and i'm gonna hopefully be doing this continuously throughout phase three so if you guys like the video make sure to throw a thumbs up for your boy and we're going to get out of here and hopefully you guys can enjoy the rest of your day because it's a beautiful day out today. So as always, may the force be with you. Take care.